Here's how to recover all of your MetaMask accounts. If you're recovering a MetaMask wallet, but you can't see all of the wallet addresses or accounts that you were using before, we can recover them. So I'm going to recover and reload a MetaMask wallet. So I'll click agree and then import an existing wallet. From here, you can send them data or not. I'm gonna choose no. And then I just put in my secret recovery phrase. So the one you were using with the wallet before, put this in, in order. And then once you've done that, click confirm secret recovery phrase right here. And that's gonna reload your MetaMask wallet. Once you've put in your secret recovery phrase, it's gonna ask you for a new spending password. This is app specific, so it can be anything you want. So just put that in. And now my wallet is recovered, but I can't see any of the previous wallet addresses that I was using before. I just have my main wallet, which comes up with the token that I had. From here, we need to go to the account one up at the top, click this, and then click add account or hardware wallet. Click that. And then for me, I just wanna add in the second wallet that I was using. So I'm gonna click add a new account. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna call it account two, which is fine, and then click create. From here, what it's actually doing is recovering the previous wallet that I was using before. So this is not a new wallet because I've already set this up and used it previously. So you can see now that this wallet address should be exactly the same account and wallet address that you were using previously. If you had five, six, seven, or eight of these, just keep adding in these accounts over and over and over again, and it's gonna reload the ones that you were using before. If you want to add another new wallet address, you can keep adding and recovering previous accounts, and then eventually you'll be creating a new one that you haven't used before. If you were using wallets in MetaMask that you'd imported previously, for example, a hardware wallet or a wallet via a private key, then you're going to have to reload them into your MetaMask because these are actually completely separate wallets with a different private key and seed phrase. So from here, just go to the drop down menu again, click add account or hardware wallet. And then from here, you have the two options. If you are using a wallet via a private key import, click import account and then you can import the private key that you were using previously. That's a different wallet with a different private key and so isn't the MetaMask we've just recovered. If, we, if you were using a hardware wallet, click add hardware wallet here and then go through this setup like you did previously. If you've recovered your wallet but you found all of the assets that you had listed in your MetaMask previously are not there, then you have to add them all in manually again. So we need to import tokens if you know that you had some assets in your account, go to a list of coins like on CoinGecko and then add the contract address in of the assets you were using. So if you have a stable coin, for example, you can just go down, click the network that you were using, click copy. So you have the contract address, go over to your MetaMask, click import tokens, paste in the address, and you can see this is the asset. So I can click next and import. And now I have this asset back in my wallet. And you can do that for all of your different assets that you have in your MetaMask. If you're unsure what assets you actually have amongst all of your accounts, what you can actually do is just press MetaMask Portfolio right here. Click that, it takes you through to this page. And this is actually gonna show you all of the assets that you have in your accounts. And so you don't have to import them in. This is a better way to see exactly what all of your accounts are holding across different networks.